We're really glad that you're our friends. And this is a friendship that will never ever end. How much you fucking want to... No matter how much you want to fucking... Uh, want to keep, keep it in the past there, WWE. You're never gonna let... You're never gonna take this away from me. Never! Never! Yeah, we will. Anyway, this is my Bray Wyatt's collab figure collection. First off, we have his SummerSlam 2014 uh, figure with the green pants. This is when he beat Chris Jericho. Love that guy, man. Love Bray Wyatt. Always keep, uh, by the way, if you're wondering the thingy, I've got uh, a Fiend figure boxed. Always have one boxed. And we got Bray Wyatt. Another, another Bray Wyatt. This is when he, I think this is when he won the WWE Championship. He came with the WWE title anyway. So I think this is that one when he won the WWE title. And uh, the Elimination Chamber 2017. Let And we have uh, Firefly Funhouse Bray Wyatt. Firefly Funhouse Bray Wyatt there. Awesome stuff. Yowie wowie! Hello guys! Yowie wowie! Put him down there for a minute. And we have another Firefly Funhouse Bray Wyatt. Hey kids, Jerry Wally! I love this. It's a little thingy. Is a Huskis the pig? That is awesome. Right. I have to warn you though. Don't get too attached. Yo! Wait there a minute. You don't want to deal with him now, do you? Um. Yeah, I'm feeling, I'm fearing for my life right now. I'm feeling, fearing for my life right now. Because I have a feeling that we might be having a visit from him. Don't make too much eye contact. All I'm saying. The Fiend. This one comes with his cloak, his little jacket. Awesome stuff right there. Got another one. It comes with a jacket. I think this is the, uh, I think one of them was a WrestleMania, uh, basic figure. And the other one with, this one was, uh, with, came with Daniel Bryan in a double pack. So, this was like around the time I got this, uh, I got these around the WrestleMania time last year. Another basic figure right here. Basic fiend with uh, with you know with no um, with no cat jacket on this time, and then finally comes with the Blue Universal Championship that he won at SummerSlam 2020 last year at 2020. Uh, Elite Bray Wyatt, Elite Fiend, which is basically let me just uh, which is basically this figure. But I have a um I have an extra version of it just in case uh, you know not just in case but because uh, I did have a um I did have another fiend but it, uh, I was using it I was using I was wrestling with it way too much and the figure the leg broke off so that's why and it was it was drawing the um it was drawing the middle of 2020 when there was a pandemic going on I think it was like no no it was the 2021. Uh, it was like January. I got it for Christmas, 2020, and then uh, I got the Elite figure for t uh, December, I mean, for Christmas time, and then uh, the pandemic hit, and uh, and then the, and then and January 2021, and a couple of days into 2021, uh, the leg broke off, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're in a lockdown, and of course, yeah, it it it. So it, it, this one. So that's why I got like a bunch of these because I was like uh, I was like I'm just gonna get a lot of Bray White figures. That that story to me, I love these figures, man. They mean the world to me. Um, I can't wait to get um two versions of the uh the what's called fiends the uh, 
Crispy, the the burnt version of the Fiend that comes out uh, in April. Yeah, there's a the rest you know the the, the one that returned at Fastlane last year. Uh, that one's being released at uh, Elite 92. And I can't wait to get that next month, man. I'm gonna get two versions of it, one so I can display on the uh, the, the the bootcase. And the other one's staying in the package, so, oh man, I'm looking forward to it, man. I love, you know, I've always, always been a Bray White, you know, I've always been a Bray White fan since 2014. Um, basically since Punk left. Um, I probably haven't told this on video, but CM Punk was my favorite wrestler from 2011 to 2014. And when he left, uh, you know, Bray Wyatt was becoming one of my favorites anyway. So Bray Wyatt just basically took over that spot from CM Punk. And then, you know, ever since then, it's all been bright about Bray Wyatt. Until 2017 when they traded him to, Sm- to Raw, and I knew he wasn't going to get anywhere. I still supported him, but his losses, I had to kind of take a back seat a little bit. I still was a big fan of him, I just took a back seat from him. Because I couldn't, my I just couldn't bear the 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 thought of I couldn't bear all the losses. Like it was getting to me a little bit, and the fact that he was never going to get his revenge on Randy Orton. I, I wish I would have learned that again in uh, 2021 when he lost to Randy Orton again. So uh, sometimes you know I I, I understand I may, I may get sound a little bit too attached to him uh, the character in Bray Wyatt, but I just love his character so much. Um, man, th- those times, those times of meeting you know, with the uh, every week was just a, a car ride. You know, it was just a roller coaster, and it was just so emotional, emotional times because it was that feeling that 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 yeah, what 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 crazy feeling? What, what am I about? That nervous feeling. That's the word. That nervous feeling whenever Bray Wyatt would have a match. Uh, that nervous feeling going into that pay-per-view of, are they going to fuck this up? When are they going to fuck this up? You know what I mean? That that kind of paranoia of the WWE booking uh, was getting to me because I really loved this character, uh, of Bray Wyatt and The Fiend. And, uh, man, it's so fucking, you know, it, that's why it still annoys me. That's why every now and then it does still get to me that he's been released. And especially, I try not, I try not to think about it too much. But those comments about what Vince said yesterday on the Pat McAfee show about how the, all the releases were dead weight, it, you know, it really hits and it, you know, really hit, it really strikes that anger button immediately. And uh, I try not to, you know, I try not to press it, you know, try not to press the anger button, but it's really hard sometimes. And, uh, you know, really good. Uh, anyway, I'm going to stop rambling now. So, there you go, guys. Uh, there you go, guys. There's my wrestling figure collect. There's my uh, Fiend collection. My Bray Wyatt collection. Hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate it. Let me in. We will let you in, Bray. We will. Anyway, there you go, guys. That's it. And uh, I'm out. Have a nice day.